You are all very welcome back to the show. We have Mr. Marty Morrissey back with us again. Marty, always great to have you, sir. Great Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Maura. Lovely back to see both of you. To 1973. 1973, a great year, if you happen to be from Cork. Sorry yes. about this, Dahi, but I love sewing it in. <laughs> it was uh, July 15, 1973, and Cork <laughs> played Kerry in one of those brilliant Munster football finals. And it's the first and only time that Cork scored five goals in a Munster final oh, wow. against Kerry. And a young fella called Jimmy Barry Murphy scored a goal. Mm -hmm. But then Cork went on, they, this was a great team, Dennis Collin. Uh, Billy uh, Morgan. Billy Morgan was captain. I mean, yeah. Do you know, Dahi, that I loved Billy Morgan? I still do love Billy Morgan. Mm. And I wrote to him as a young lad. And my father brought me down to meet him because oh, he was my that. idol. I just wanted to be mm -hmm. Billy Morgan. So anyway, Billy Morgan was part of this team. And uh, they, was, they were just fantastic. And they went on then. They played Galway in the All-Ireland Final. And Jimmy Barry Murphy scored two goals in one. And Mihola Hare had one of those greatest lines. Jimmy Barry Murphy, what's he going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Goal for Cork. Oh, brilliant. Love it. Here brilliant. it is. Dennis Long with this free, and it's a long one right into the square. And it's knocked ahead by Dexter Byrne, it's in the back of the net. But Dennis Long for Cork, leaving it to Declan Barrett with all the time in the world to knock it into the square. Jimmy Barry Murphy knocks it down to Jimmy Barrett, but the umpire signals wide, but John Maloney, she's giving a penalty. So this is a chance for Cork, a great chance to go further ahead. And Billy Field to take it. Now with the penalty, taking it easy and it's in the net. Cork playing with all the confidence in the world at this moment. Dave McCarthy sending away on the attack again. Kerry spread eagle, Dave McCarthy way in his own. And he knocks that off the post and that's it. And that's Kevin Jarr Sullivan going way on his own chased by Eamon Donoghue but gets in his kick and sends Cork on the attack and Jimmy Barrett is there yes it's a goal It's funny explain. to see. I was just going to say, yeah, explain between from black, black and black white, white to color color in one and a few Yeah. Uh, Dana won the Eurovision in 1970. In 1971, mm -hmm. the Eurovision that RT broadcast, I think, was the first time that it went fully color. Mm -hmm. okay. And it was still only emerging because, as you saw there, the Munster football final between Cork Carrier was black and white. And white. Mm -hmm. But when we got to the All Ireland final, yeah. it was in color. Um, fading a little bit now at this stage, but still there. But it's a, it's amazing with that Cork team, though, Marty. So I, I suppose like 75 on Kerry took over mm. eight, eight All Irelands in 10 years and all that type of stuff. And people really forget how good the Cork team were at that time. That Cork team were sensational because, I mean, they, they walked everybody. Yeah. I mean, there was nobody. I mean, score five goals against Kerry was remarkable. Mm. And to score three against Galway in the All Ireland final. But when you think of Billy Morgan and Dennis Collin, Billy Field, mm -hmm. uh, Declan Barron, I mean, these were just Kevin Gerald Sullivan. Yeah. They were John Coleman. They were just fantastic. But when the following year, 1974, Dublin came from nowhere yeah. to beat them in an All-Ireland semi-final. That was when Jimmy Keevney came out of retirement mm -hmm. and it was the birth of Hefner's mm -hmm. Army. Yeah. But I think only for that, probably that Cork team would have gone on yeah, to and win There was no back door either that time as no. well. So once they were beaten, they were gone. That they was were it. gone. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to jump forward to the number three, but